Namaste everybody, this is Nel Carrojo again and four days ago I posted a video about the circular uh, skylights uh, which is not available in Dialogs Evil right now and I received comments from lots of lighting designers all over the world and they suggested that it is possible you only need to do it manually like so manually <laughs> the first guy is from um, Ian McRae, my favorite guy, and he said to me about how I can do it and the instruction is really, really long. <laughs> yeah, and we will do it later. We will just follow um, Ian McRae's instruction. Also, uh, there is one comments from Renz Hernandez and he said that it's really a possible and we can also uh, do it. And later we will check which one is um, the most uh, possible one and the most beautiful one. But there is one person who is from Poland and his name is Marius Piotrowski. And he sent me his Dialax Ibo file and he said it's really possible. All you have to do is use the same uh, square skylight and just add a hole on it. And he sent me this amazing Dialax Ibo file. And it's really true that it's possible to do it. You see those is Oculus style. And he really made those uh, niche on the ceiling. Really cool. Okay, so let's do it. If we can also... Let's do it if we can follow the instructions from these guys. Okay, so let's go to the side tab. And this is what um, Marius did. So he used the um, square skylight and then he created around a dome, of course, with a round hole on it. So in on outside, it looks ugly because you can see those um, square skylight. But inside, which is the most important one because we are aiming for um, skylight effect with a hole on it. And it looks good it's perfect <laughs> very nice so let's do this one and uh, let's forget how to create those niches let's focus first on the dome okay so how to do it let's go to the, the side tab first and then uh let's measure it so he created the 15 diameter circular building so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy the building so this video will become uh, fast so what I'm going to do is building and then copy and then paste. Oh, why is not pasting? Okay, I need to go to the site tab first. Yes, I will say yes. And then let's go here. So what I'm going to do is I will remove first the object, uh, the dome object. So I'll click this one. And also I will remove the skylight. So our building will become like a regular building like this one. So of course you can also do it manually by creating those circular building. And if you want to learn more, go and uh, enroll in my Udemy course about Dialax Evo Basics. And then after that, because the building number two, which is my building, doesn't have a roof now because I removed it. So I'll go back to the roof tab I go to the story tab. And then I will just place the flat roof, automatically place it. Why it's not automatic? <laughs> there you are. Now it's too high there. Ah, okay. Maybe because it's detecting the, the, the original height of the building. Let's go and check the size of the building. So it's 15 meters. Okay, let's go and measure if it's really 15 meters. Okay. Yeah, so I think he cut this building let's go and check this cutting tool all right he really cut the building that's right so this one is a cutting tool so it will become like this only and then he will create a dome all right very good modus and then after this since we already have our uh ceiling a flat one i'll go now to our apertures and i will select the skylight which is the square one the available the available one in dialogs evil right now okay so it will be a, a roof window so it's a roof window and then i will just position it on the plan view or maybe i'll go to the 
um, as a site tab view so I can see it properly. There you go. So the um, the skylight is already here now, but we need to increase the size of this one because I think Marius created a skylight that has 2 meters by 2 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'll make it also 2 meters by 2 meters. There you go. Plan view. And I'll put it in the center of the building. And now let's go and create our dome. So how to create a dome is you go for the sphere and then cut it. Okay, so I will select the sphere and then I'll go and place it here. And because I have 15 meters dia diameter, so I'll make it 15 by 15 by 15. All right. Okay, why well, it's 25 degrees? I'll put in zero degrees. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I will insert it here like this. Go to the top view and check. There you go. Okay, so I'm scared on this one now because I need to make sure it's perfect. And then I need to cut this um, sphere, the hole on the sphere, and make sure that I created a void. So you either go to the 3D warehouse, SketchUp, to select for a dome and use it there. Okay, so let's go to the 3D Warehouse SketchUp. Maybe there is one dome there, which we can use and then cut a hole on it. So go to the search tab and say dome ceiling or dome ceiling maybe. Okay, so there are lots of domes here and this one is nice. Um, this one is also good. Yeah, this is a nice dome. Yeah, so if you can find your uh, perfect dome, then let's go and just create it. All right, so we will just copy this one, Control C and Control V. Now it's stacking all together. And let's make this, the thickness of the dome as, say, this one will be 14, 14, and then 14. So it's one meter thick dome. So thick, yeah. Okay, and then we will... Um, what shall I do? I need to cut it first and then cut the inside or shall I cut the inside and then cut later the half? <laughs> okay, let's do it now. Let's cut first the inside. Let's just imagine the, the thickness of the dome is one meter all over. So go to this um, Boolean operations and then let's cut the big dome. Subtract and then subtract okay now it is subtracted i think let's go inside okay <laughs> let's go now and cut the half of the dome so how to do that is just add a box on it okay so i'll select the cube and then i'll place it here and then i'll make this one a little bigger so i may go also for 15 by 15 Okay, and then I'll go to the plan uh, elevation view to cut it into half, like this one. And then I will select the two objects. Then, then I'll go to the boolean again, and then I will select the, the difference between two objects rather than the cube, and then subtract. All right, now our dome is here, and then let's go inside, <laughs> inside of the building number two, and then ro room. Ah, look at that! Looks amazing. Now we only have one problem, which is the hole on the top of it. So I'll go now and select the cylinder, this one. So vertical cylinder, and then I'll place it here, just here for now, and then I'll put it in the center. Okay, this is. I think the cylinder that Maurice created is so it's 1.5 meter cylinder. I'll just make it also 1.5 by 1.5. There you go. And I'll put it down. Scale. Put it down more. There you go. Okay. Oops. Object. Okay. So I'll go to the Boolean operation again and select the difference between two objects and then subtract and then subtract press subtract and let's go inside the room 
Oh, there you go. And now it's time for us to check. Hold on, because I need to put my uh, skylight on the center. Select the skylight here. I cannot select the aperture. There you go. Put it in the center. Yep, and maybe I need to put it down more or not. And then maybe I can just delete the roof. Is it possible to delete the roof now? Uh, select the roof tab. Select it and delete. Oh my god, let's undo it. Okay, so I'm not sure how Marius uh, delete the roof or maybe maybe he he made the roof also a small okay let's go to the tab and select the roof and make it maybe small because if I remove the roof the skylight will also be gone so let's just scale it maybe it's the reason Okay, this is just an experiment because um, I'm just copying what Ma Marius did. Okay. And later on, we will uh, follow what uh, Ian McRae said. Okay, I think this is fine. There you go. Let's go inside. Perfect. Let's calculate um, the daytime. Let's go to the light scene. Okay, it's clear sky, make it say um, 2.30 p.m. And let's run a calculation. Okay, so it's very fast because it's just a daylighting calculation. And <laughs> there you go. We just created our little dome there. So let's go and check the false color. If I want to make it big, oh oh no 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 because i think my roof is gone so it's now let's go to building one what did it should be like this only okay Mauri marius i think i did not follow your um yeah my dome is spreading all over it's like it's like an open let's go to the false color on the floor yeah it's like an open roof not really not really a single dome okay so let's go and experiment it again something is wrong but we already got this beautiful ray of uh, but that light there <laughs> so small compared to Mario's creation it's much better okay let's just create a, a same color on the wall and on the ceiling let's see how it looks so I'll go to the um, uh, uh, color tab pick material and then I'll just drag and drop I'll say yes okay let's run a calculation again okay there you go so it's still not that correct compared to mario's dome which is much perfect okay so but we're almost there we just need to polish it like a perfect dome and yes we got it and i think i need to work on my ceiling also so next time we will follow what iron mccray said Actually, he just said it's possible. Just take time to get it to look neat. Create the building room and remove the roof. Using a large rectangular skylight roof window standard, replace the roof just inside the room. Using a cube stretch to fit the space and cut a circular hole by subtracting a vertical. Once these are placed, you can with a daylight relevant circular. Yes, the hole does not have glass properties. The window does. If you want, don't use that. So it's almost the same to what we did only the problem is my doom is not perfect like what marius did 
Okay. So, but we're almost same. <laughs> All right. So that's it for now. And I'll see you again on the next video. And I hope that this uh, circular skylight will be available in Dialux Evo 11. Okay. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and enroll in my Udemy courses. Alright, so see you again on the next video. Bye!